Hey everybody, how you doing here? I have a Drake L4B power supply. They use the same power supply for the Drake L4B as also the L47 amplifier. Uh, it has the original capacitors in it. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the capacitor diode bleeder resistor boards with a Harbach kit. So I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process that it takes to do that. First off you need to remove the screws that hold the bottom cover on here. I like to use a little flathead screwdriver to get into the corner, work it up a little bit, work it up a little bit, work it up, work it up. You need to remove the line cord before you can take the top cover off. You have to remove the connections at the terminal strip underneath this cover. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Oh yeah everybody, here's the bottom. Here's the terminal strip I was telling you about. Here's the other terminal strip. So it's wired for 240. See the jumpers? They're kind of close to the ground. I'll move those away. Looks like the line cord does have a ground, so I won't have to change it. Looks like it's in okay shape. These resistors right here are prone to failure. I believe it's a 5K. This one looks okay. Okay, so I'm going to remove the line cord. These two screws right here. Then I will remove the screws for the top cover and show you the top. Be right back. Okay, here we go. Top cover off. It's the 0.82 ohm safety resistor. I like that, a glitch resistor. Um, instead of that, that acts like a fuse. Is a short and a B positive. 0.82 ohm. So these are the old capacitors. Notice that one has popped. So I'm going to go ahead and remove both of these boards and install the Harbach kit. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come back uh, and show you the Harbach kit in its unassembled form and then its assembled form and we'll go from there. So, these are the biasing resistors right here. You always want to check these out, make sure they're in good shape. Some people do bias mods. Just boils down to how much the customer wants to spend. So, Everything else looks okay. I don't see any obvious damage. Maybe the transformer secondaries right there. The primary on this side. Okay, I'll be back. Yeah, I, forgot, I left something out, so I want to show you guys real quick. The boards are actually secured by four screws on either side. There's one of them. You don't want to lose the crush washer. Um, so the filter capacitors are actually in series so you want to unsolder the secondary connection. Actually wow, it was right up against ground, that was dangerous. So you have the um, secondary connection going up here, you want to unsolder that, unsolder the other secondary connection. So you have jumpers that go from this side to the other side You'll unsolder those and remove those wires. They won't be needed anymore. So um, I'm going to go ahead and remove them. And I'll show you the Harbach kit next. There you go. So. Okay, everybody, I got the filter cap assemblies out. Let's see here. Let's see 
idea. Yeah, I forgot to mention that you actually have to remove the screws for the bias resistors. So you have to actually push one, actually both sides, um, this one and this one, you have to push one side of each one in a little bit to slide the capacitor assemblies out. It'll only um, come out one way um, unless you unsolder the lead on the opposite side. Obviously it won't fit out that side because of the um, insulator, the ceramic standoff. So here's the Harbach kit. It comes with instructions. Easy to follow. You have the board. Beautiful board. And this is fish paper. You put this back of the board. Um, acts as an insulator between ground and the high voltage points on the board. You have the diodes, you have the resistors, and you have the electrolytic caps. Beautiful kit. I love using them. It's been a while since I've put one together. <laughs> um, let's see, eight months or so. One of these uh, kits for this uh, particular amplifier. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together, and then I'll I'll show you the uh, the assembled kit. All right, here's the assembled Harbach board. I like to do, like, you know, the resistors, add all the resistors, solder them all, add all the diodes, solder them all, then do cap by cap, solder them all. So that's that. Beautiful. Harbach Electronics, LLC. So, I'm going to go ahead and install it in the amplifier. If my memory serves me correct, I haven't even looked at the instructions, but <laughs> if this is your first time, you should. I'm going to check them out in a second just to double check everything um, after I uh, mount the board, but um, I believe I need to remove these brackets, two of them. Yeah, so. I'm going to go ahead and do that. They need to be reused. And the rest of this stuff can be thrown out here. So, we'll go ahead and do that and uh, we'll be back. Okay. Yep, I was right. I to reuse the brackets. Okay, so you want to sandwich the fish paper between the brackets and the actual board. Um, you only use two out of the three holes on each bracket. You reuse the the old screws that you removed from the old filter cap uh, board, each board. Uh, you only need two, of, each board has uh, two brackets, so like I said, you only need two of them, and the other two will just stay on the other board. Um, so that's that. I want to add something. You know, before you actually solder anything, you always want to just double, triple check, whatever, make sure they're all oriented in the right um, uh, you know, like the diodes that they're they're uh, facing the proper direction, um, you know, and orient oriented in the right uh, direction, and um, you know, just double check everything. You know, make sure the filter caps are all, uh, you know, properly um, placed. You know, so you have the polarity correct, um, and then solder everything. You know, and then you won't have to undo anything. You won't have to, you know, do anything twice. So. That's that. I will mount this inside of the cabinet and I'll show you it all hooked up. Okay, we have the board installed here. Nice and secure. Went ahead and resecured the bias resistors. The, the B negative wire, which is over here, has to be rerouted, has to be pulled from the bottom from over there over here. This is the uh, the positive right here. I uh, cut it back and stripped it, made sure it was long enough, and it is. You want to be really careful when you connect the wires to the board. Um, you don't want them protruding much through the board, if, if at all. Uh, you don't want them to poke through the, the fish paper and touch ground. So here are the two secondary leads red ones. Uh, pretty easy to hook up. The board's clearly marked. B negative is the B negative, which is that wire over there, which will be run over here. 
it was that wire was hooked up to the filter cap board on that side. Then you have AC1 and AC2. There's AC1 over there. Uh, AC2 is down there. Those are the secondary connections that um, come off the uh, transformer. Uh, then you have the B positive up here, right there, which is that white wire that hooks up to the bias resistors on one end, and also that 0.82 ohm resistor. And then on the opposite end of that resistor is the B positive that goes up through the control cable over here. You can see it right here as the one connection on the end. So that's that. I will hook up those connections and then uh, that'll be it. Okay, it's all finished. The B positive hooked up, the secondary is hooked up, B negative hooked up. I had to run a new piece of wire for the B negative. I forgot that that was required, so I used Teflon wire. It goes from B negative connection on the board. over to the B negative this terminal strip right here okay this yellow wire had a cold solder joint so I cut that stripped it back resecured it so do the grommet this thing's all done put the covers back on and hook it up to the amp fire it up I'll be adding a glitch resistor, I didn't show that here, but it's not part of the kit, so I didn't want to add that in this video. So that's the installation of a Harbach Electronics filter cap board kit for the Drake L4B. Like I said, the power supply for the L7 is the same, so same kit, same same installation procedure. I'm gonna put the black cover on first. Then you end up putting the grommet back in through the hole. The top cover. And through this hole. And you re-secure the bottom cut or connect the wires to the terminal strip and then re reconnect the bottom cover and it's all set. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. The website's amprepairguy.com. It's a bunch of work in right now. Ameritron L1500, uh, Henry amplifier, uh, some other stuff over there. So, get some parts in. So, that's about it. Another Drake. So, always busy here in the shop. Take care. God bless.